Are you looking for a great monitor? You looking for a portable monitor that you can take anywhere you go? And I think I got it right here. This is the Y Maxic portable monitor. I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down in the description so you can get this portable monitor. It is an IPS monitor with a 15.6 inch display. Pretty big for a portable monitor. So open this thing up. I'm gonna test it on all the all the things you need so you can see it. Perfectly packaged. I'm gonna set this to the side, see what your accessories you get first. Get a little wipe, napkin wipe. We'll wipe the wipe the screen off. Get your your booklet for your warranty and support. You got a USB Type C connection. You got a USB Type C connection. So USB Type C. This is a USB Type C. This USC USB Type A connection. And here's your full. HDMI and the last one I had was HDMI mini and here's your power brick So go ahead and get all this stuff together. It said the power brick USB a And then you got the HDMI we'll unpackage all this so I don't unpack it I got HDMI already ready, but the HDMI USB C to USB a and the USB C to USB C where I can use for my Nintendo switch I guess I'll put this all to the side Here's the monitor itself. Open it up. You got your plastic. Oh, it comes with a screen protector. Wow. Screen protector that comes with this thing, which is amazing. I like that. Oh, I like it. I like the way it look. Looks better than my other monitor. I mean, this is magnetic, so you can see the magnetic, you know, you stand, you can stand up, slash case, but it's light, very light. You see the reflection, you can see me. <laughs> you got your, you got your volume. Also settings toggle here. You got your headphone jack. You got an exit button here. Speakers on the side. Nothing on the top. Uh, you got a USB mini, a micro USB here. You got a power. You got the Type C and an HDMI. On the back, you got a you got a mount here. You could do a Vesa mount. Four holes. And like there's more screws here too. So if you wanted to do a wider one. I know I'm putting fingerprints on. I might have to use that napkin real quick. Just to show y'all. Like I said, this is magnetic. And it stands up. I don't want to stand it up so y'all can see. Because y'all can be able to see it. But it stands up. It stands up fine. So I'm going to lay it down so you guys can see it. And when I put it, I want to turn it on. So give me one second. I want to tell you one thing. One thing I don't like is these cords be so short to hook up a power connection to. Which kind of sucks when you're just trying to do a review like this. I mean, I guess it's not that bad, but when you're trying to do a review, it kind of sucks where you don't have a long input. I got to bring something to me for input. So hook it into the power port. So we got power. You can see the boot up. You hear my dog? It's, there it is, the boot up screen. And then I'm going to hook up. Let's see. First, I'll do, I'll do my Nintendo Switch first. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my Nintendo Switch. So I'm gonna turn that on, hook up the power to that. Let me hook up the, so it displays to that. And I, oh, also this, this monitor does have touch to it. It's full 1080p display. I know y'all hear my dog in the background, but I'm gonna plug this into my Nintendo Switch, plug it in, and then you should plug into there and should display the Switch on here. There we go. So my switch is on the monitor now. Pick up my, here's the switch. Switch works fine, no latency. You know, Nintendo Switch Sports. Go into it. I mean, it looks good. You can see it in full clarity. No problem, like I said, this is IPS monitor. You see it. 
Viewing angle is very good. And it looks good on camera. So, let's show you the Nintendo Switch works. There you go. 1080p 60. So, you can see the Switch works fine. And I could. Let me see if I can plug the power if it still works on the Switch so you can notice that. Okay, it doesn't work to the switch immediately. I, unless you, oh, maybe. Let's see. I unplugged the switch. I mean the power. See if it switches. Okay, it doesn't switch over. So you can't switch, use it for as a power source for it. I guess the switch doesn't have enough power to do it. Let's see if I try it through a power power port. Maybe this will work. Okay, so it doesn't switch unless you have a power source connected to the to the monitor itself. So I'm gonna try my Xbox and I'm gonna try my phone too. My phone is one of those that it works off of just using a power source. So here's my phone connected. Let's see if it pop up. Oh, Samsung Dex. Okay. So that's 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 good. It's showing Samsung Dex, and I'm still connected to the power cable here, the power thing here. So I can do Samsung Dex. It's pretty dark. I wonder why it's so dark. Can you change the brightness? So now you can see the full brightness. There we go. I'm gonna go 77. I don't want to waste all my battery on my phone. So this is nice. It shows my notification here on my route the Dex. I don't know if you ever used Samsung Dex. It is a nice feature to have if you got a Samsung phone. I can exit it. Go on my phone, there's my phone. So it works right out the box for that. So we're gonna unplug that. Okay, so now we have my Xbox connected and the power connected through the Xbox as well. The power is connected through the Xbox and the Xbox is connected through the USB as well. Well. USB power is connected to the Xbox and the HDMI is plugged to the Xbox. Let's see if it works. Turn it on. Okay, there you go. Works like that immediately. Turn the volume up. See the sound. Full blast. It's okay. Let's see if I go into a game. Uh, put in 2K. So you can see 2K. It's that full blast. I can play on music because the music will give me copyright. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm trying to make sure everything is center. Because I think this thing is moving on me. Yeah, it's moving on me. Okay, so there's 2K. It looks good. Like I said, the sound ain't that good. I don't know because of the sound in my house or what, but it's okay, I guess. So I go into my game. That sounded loud. Let's say I am on the Xbox. So. Sounding louder now. It has speakers on both sides. I'll show you what what uh, what what display setting I'm on. Display settings. It says I'm a 720p. Let's put it at 1080. Yes, keep it. Tell you what you can do. You can't do too much of nothing, so don't worry about it because you just it's a portable monitor. You don't want it to use too much power. You can use the HDR10 if you want to because it has HDR on it. So you know, but it's probably not a. I don't know if it's a great HDR or not, but it shows it has HDR. But and there it is. I mean, I think it's, it seems pretty good to me. If you let's go to the PlayStation again, we got the PlayStation Five controller. Turn on the PlayStation Five. PlayStation Five want me to adjust the display area. To see it because it has HDR, it wants to do the HDR, so that stuff don't bother me, so I don't worry about that. 
Let's go to the settings. Screen and video. Right now it's output information is 1080p, 60 hertz, and it says HDR. So HDR is supported on this one. And then I can play a game. So I can go into, uh, I'm gonna do 2K on this one too. I like the clarity of this monitor. The clarity is very nice. I said we're still on the PS5. I'm not throwing no stuff on you. It's a different player I'm playing with anyway. So this is the PS5, as you still can see. See? PS5. See, I don't even know what other games I got. And we write in just like Spider-Man. So there's Spider-Man for you. I mean, it looks good. I do like the, it, it looks real good in my eyes. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you can see that on your end, the darkness. Look at that. And that's Spider-Man for you. I mean, it looks real good. Look at that. That looks good for a portable monitor. My gosh, I have never seen. It. I guess I'm not used to this nice colors on this thing. I ain't played Spider-Man on my uh, other monitor either, but I'm gonna keep that it. That's it with that. What else should I test? I tested my phone. I tested the Switch. I tested the Xbox, PS5. You also you can hook your computer up to it, and I think that's about. It. I mean, if you want to hook up your laptop to it, you can have it as a second monitor on your laptop. And I think that's it. Like I said, it comes with the HDMI cable itself. I'm using one that I have, so I won't have to stress too much. But I think that's it. If you brand new to the channel, you'd like to see more content from me like this, because this was an opportunity for me, hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. If you like this video, hit that like uh, comment. If you enjoy my videos and would you, you know, buy this monitor for yourself? And let me let me know down below. It's your boy QB. I am signing out. Thank you all for watching. Be blessed. Peace.